and of course started using them to take alcohol from speakeasy to speakeasy. So inside these tunnels, renovators found some glass Prohibition era bottles as well as Frank Nitti's own address book. Now, a couple years later, they were remodeling again and they found a hidden room inside one of the tunnels, knocked into a wall and found a room that contained a very large safe also confirmed to have been owned by Nitty and the mob. So, the safe, the bottles, and a little part of the tunnel are all on display for us to look at in the basement of Harry Carey's. The address book is on display in the lobby, along with some other fun memorabilia. And Harry Carey's is also a spot on the tour where we are able to use the restroom if anyone needs to. So since you guys are a bigger group, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to plant myself in the lobby so that as you filter in, I can point you in the right direction. See, it is now... officers found Ted Newberry's body on the side of the road. Someone had shot him in the back of the head. The cops couldn't pin the Newberry murder on anyone and eventually halted their investigation. With Newberry gone, Nitty turned his attention to Mayor Anton Cermak. But the mobster never got the chance to get even. On February 15, 1933, Mayor Cermak attended a rally in Miami, Florida for the newly elected president, Franklin Delano Roosevelt. During the event, Mayor Cermak walked toward Roosevelt, hoping to have a word with the president-elect. At that moment, a man named Zangara climbed upon a park bench, took out a revolver, and began to fire at the president and Tony Cermak. He ends up filing murder charges against Lane 
Prosecutors eventually dropped the charges, but Lang was forced to retire. With the Lang ordeal behind him, Frank Nitti could focus on his own life. The trial and his mob lifestyle had taken a toll on his marriage. Nitti and his wife Anna hoped a new baby might help them reconnect, but even that was a struggle. They were convinced by friends to adopt a baby boy in 1974. Frank and Anna adopted a six-month-old Italian baby boy. Leslie left in a nearby country. Jumps around Nitti. It's really hard to see the tunnel that was underneath the building. Oh. So this part is more about the building. Yes. Than the has nothing to do here. No. It's just. That's crazy. Chicago-style strong-arm tactics with devastating I effect. believe that. Yeah, I said, That's look, if you're going to be shown, you better start paying us some money, because we can order strikes and shut all the theaters around the country. So they ended up with a deal. But they had squeezed the shoes of Mr. Calvin. They changed the number. They changed the number. They changed the number. Is it nice to wait? On May 23rd, 1940, I don't think it's a top secret room. I think it's just for the staff. Ryan, what's Kaminsky called now? <laughs> Guaranteed rate. Guaranteed rate. Oh, no, that's Stadium. Green Castle. No. White Sox. White Sox. Oh, yeah, Guaranteed Walk Stadium. That's what they call it. But they always said that Al Capone was buried. They threw his yeah. body in one of the coolers there and filled up the coolers. 1931. Yeah. Same thing. Oh, he's saying 1980. 